So I'm going to randomly call one person. How about alone? Can you tell me, talk out loud to me? So first, between categorical and continuous, what is for part A? Categorical. Categorical. I'm going to just put the the first letters, okay? It's just categorical. And after that, oh, it's hard to see. And after that, if it's categorical, then um, what did you have for the second one? I don't know if I got it right, but I put ordinal. You think it's ordinal? You guys agree with her? Can you guys type in the chat for me? Yes or no? Yes, that's good. Yeah, that's it. Good. All right. So sizes of cars. So those are categories, right? Large, medium, and then you can put them in order. So it should be ordinal because ordinal Ordinal contains some um, order. Okay. All right. I'm going to randomly call the second one. How about Brianna? Can you tell me what you get for the first one? Carrot um, portal. Categorical? Yeah. All right. And then what is the second one? Um, interval level. Uh, if it's category, what is that? Can you say it again? I cannot hear. Interval level. Categorical contains some um, ordinal or nominal. So you can have only two choices. The Nominal or ordinal? Ordinal and uh, nominal belongs to categorical. So which of these two would you choose? Nominal. Good, yeah, those are just the names, right? So it should be nominal, okay? Nominal, and they're names and they, they don't have order, okay? So, so that should belong to nominal. Good. All right, let's talk about weight. How about How about, let me see. Destiny, how about C? Um, I think it's continuous. Destiny, are you there? Can you hear me? Wait, is continuous? Uh, I said I think it's continuous. Good. I think it's interval. Interval? Oh, interval rate. Uh, what do you think? Um, so for in, in for interval, the zero is uh, not absolute, but for ratio, the zero is absolute. That means that when you talk about uh, like zero dollars, that means that you don't have any money at all. So in this case, if you talk about zero um, pounds, does it mean that you have any weight at all? No, right? So what does it belong to? Um, Destiny, what do you think? Um, I think it's ratio. Good, that's it. It's ratio, right? Because for weight, you can put them in a ratio, right? The two over four pounds, right? Put them in a ratio. And when you talk about zero pounds, zero pounds, uh, that means that there's no weight at all. Okay, it's the, the absolute. It's the absolute zero, right? When you talk about zero pounds, okay? So that means that in this case, it's the ratio. Good. All right, the next one. 
IQ score, let me see. How about lathe? What do you get for this one, lathe? Uh, continuous interval. Okay, it's continuous and you say that it's interval? Yeah. You guys agree with him? Good, that's great, right? And we just talked about this um, in class, right? Or in the example, good. All right, let's talk about E. How about Luis? Can you tell me uh, part E? First, tell me, is it categorical or continuous? It's uh, categorical. All right, good. Categorical. And then um, after that, it's going to be what? Uh, would it be nominal? Good, that's it. Does anyone else have a different answer? Those are just the, the names, right? The names. And you cannot put them in order, right? And then it should be category, um, categorical because they're, they're just the names, okay? And then, yeah. And then you cannot put them in order. So it is nominal, okay, good. All right, how about part F? How about Ramon, can you tell me? First, is it categorical or continuous? Categorical. Um, categorical. Um, so categorical, but then can you, can you subtract the numbers? Can you put them in a ratio? Oh, no, never mind. Continue. Okay, good, that's it. All right. Continuous, and then after that, what is your second choice? Interval. Uh, but when you say that z zero years old, that means that um, that means that the person is not born yet. Does it make sense or not? No. So, yes, right. Zero years old. That means that the person uh, does not exist yet. So it should be what? Can you say that the the second one, the ten years old, is twice as old as the first one. Can you say that? Yeah. Yeah, that means that you can put them in a ratio, right? So what is that? Oh. It ratio. should be one. Good, that's it. Yeah, it should be ratio. Yeah, good. All right, the last one. How about Uriel? Can you tell me the first one? Is it categorical or continuous first? Like money in the bank, for example, zero dollars, like, um, yeah, zero dollars or, um, let's see, or $200 or something like that. So is it first, is it categorical or continuous? Continuous. Good. Continuous. And then after that, what's your choice? Uh, ratio. Good, that's it. Ratio, because when you say that uh, you have zero dollars, that means that you don't have any money at all, right? So in this case, the zero is absolute, okay? So in this, in this case, the zero is an absolute zero. Just in case you still don't get this, then here is a good example of an absolute zero, okay? So you don't have any money at all, okay? And you, and you can put the amounts of money in a ratio or you can subtract them, right? So those are the good examples, okay? All right, so did you guys all get this? <laughs>